What's good YouTube? Today we're back at it again with another video and it's from the same same channel. Yeah man, we're reacting to the deadliest beings on planet Earth. I don't know what the fuck what what, what? Bacteriophage? I don't know what the fuck that is, but it looks like a bugger. Anyway, bro, you guys fuck with this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. If you guys want us to react to more shit like this, you can hit us up in the comment section. You can also hit us up in our socials, which will be in the description down below. And yeah, man, let's get into it. A war has been raging for billions of years, killing trillions every single day, while we don't even notice. The war is fought by the single deadliest entity on our planet, the bacteriophage. Or phage for short. Phage. A phage is a virus. Not quite alive, not quite dead. Also, they look as if someone made them up. Their head is an icosahedron, a sort of dice with 20 faces and 30 edges. It contains the genetic material of the virus and often sits on a long tail that has leg-like fibers. There are more phages on Earth than every other organism combined, including bacteria. And they are probably everywhere living things exist. Billions are on your hands, in your intestines and your eyelids right now. Which might make you nervous since phages are responsible for the majority of deaths on Earth. But you're lucky. While they do commit genocide for breakfast, they only kill bacteria. Up to 40% of all bacteria in the oceans are killed by them every single day. But phages also have major flaws. Like any other virus, phages need a host to survive and reproduce. They're not much more than genetic material in a hull, and they specialize. Usually, a phage has chosen one specific bacteria and maybe some of its very close relatives. These are its prey. Imagine a phage as like a cruise missile that only hunts and kills members of one very unlucky family. When a phage finds its victim, it connects its tail fibers with receptors and uses a sort of syringe to puncture the surface. In a weird motion, the phage squeezes its tail and injects its genetic information. Within minutes, the bacteria is taken over. It's well, now forced to manufacture all the parts of new phages. They only stop when the bacteria is filled up with brand new phages. In the final step, they produce endolysin, a powerful enzyme that punches a hole in the bacteria. The pressure is so high that the bacteria sort of vomits out all of its insides and dies. New phages are released and begin the cycle anew. In the last few years, bacteriophages have enjoyed the attention of the second deadliest beings on Earth, humans. Recently, we've started looking into injecting millions of them into our bodies, because we're sort of getting desperate. We screwed up. In the past, a single cut or a sip from the wrong puddle could kill you. Bacteria were our phages, tiny monsters that hunted us mercilessly. But then, about 100 years ago, we found a solution in nature. By accident, we found fungi that produced a compound that killed bacteria, antibiotics. Suddenly, we had a powerful super weapon. Antibiotics were so effective that we stopped thinking of bacteria as monsters. Only the old and weakest among us were killed by them. We used antibiotics more and more for less and less serious causes. We lost respect for the monsters and the weapon. But bacteria are living things that evolve, and one by one, they started to become immune against our weapons. This continued until we had created what are called superbugs. Bacteria immune to almost everything we have. This immunity is spreading across the world as we speak. By 2050, superbugs could kill more humans a year than cancer. The days when a cut or bladder infection or a cough could kill you or your loved ones are coming back. In the US alone, more than 23,000 people die from resistant bacteria each year. But it turns out that phages, our tiny killer virus robots, could save us. We can inject them into our bodies to help cure infections. Hold on, how can injecting millions of viruses into an infection 
be a good idea. Phages are very, very specialized killers of bacteria. So specialized, in fact, that humans are completely immune to them. We are too different. We encounter billions of phages every day, and we just politely ignore each other. Antibiotics are like carpet bombing, killing everything, even the good bacteria in our intestines that we don't want to harm. Phages are like guided missiles that only attack what they're supposed to. Wait a minute, if we use phages to kill bacteria, won't bacteria develop ways of defending themselves? Well, it's more complex than that. Phages evolve too. There has been an arms race between them and bacteria for billions of years, and so far they're doing great. This makes phages smart weapons that are constantly getting better at killing. But even if bacteria were to become immune against our phage, we still might be able to win. It turns out that in order to become resistant to even just a few species of phages, bacteria have to give up their resistance to antibiotics. We might be able to trap them in a catch-22. This has already been successfully tested with a patient who had no other hope left. The bacteria Pseudomonas aeruginosa, one of the most feared bacteria, infected the man's chest cavity. They are naturally resistant to most antibiotics and can even survive in alcoholic hand gel. After years of suffering, a few thousand phages were directly inserted into his chest cavity together with antibiotics the bacteria were immune to. After a few weeks, the infections had completely disappeared. Hey, Unfortunately, rich. this treatment is still experimental, and pharma companies are still reluctant to invest the necessary billions in a treatment that has no official approval yet. But things are finally changing. In 2016, the largest phage clinical trial to date began, and phages are getting more and more attention. And we better get used to it, because the era in which antibiotics have been our super weapon is drawing to a close. It might be a weird concept, but injecting the deadliest being on planet Earth directly into our bodies could save millions of lives. This video was made possible by a grant from the Bill and Melinda. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, man. Uh, it still kind of sounds like something might happen after. Bro, evolve into fucking so bad. You tell me bacteria like that. Everything evolves. But like, to the shit's finna it evolved into fucking, uh, what do you call it? Uh, being able to defend itself against antibiotics? Yeah, shit evolves. And they, they, they're reaching that level. The thing, with this, we got with, pages. Thing, thing with this phages shit is that it evolves with the bacteria. Yeah, kind of assholes. So I guess we're solid then. We're good. Uh, uh, he he kind of had me there uh, for a little bit. You guys focus this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and that bell notification. If you guys want us to react to more things, you can hit us up in the comment section. You can also hit us up in the description down below. Uh, yeah, man. We out.